And, <laughs> and, and Brian Green, you are telling me that it is possible, it's not even crazy to think that one day a person might be able to create a universe. So we could have, you're saying a man-made universe? So it turns out that it's not a crazy question to ask. Mm -hmm. It's a question that's susceptible to mathematical analysis. And the analysis seems to indicate that it's tough to <laughs> build your own universe, but nobody's really been able to say that it's impossible. And some have even suggested hypothetical ways that you might actually do it, hmm. compatible with the laws of physics as we currently understand them. Okay, so I'm game. Let's just try to do this. Let's you and I go ahead. Let's try to build a universe. <laughs> You don't start this big. You can't, says Brian. Well, if you want a manageable way of building a universe, what you want to be able to do is build something pretty small. Mm -hmm. You don't want to have to construct a universe that's hundreds of millions of light years across because that's a construction job that's just really beyond the pale. I can't even think about doing that. You, in some sense, want to build something small. What? How small can you begin? Can you... Can oh. you you can calculate that the nugget that we believe perhaps gave rise to our universe was about roughly you know, 10 to the minus 26 centimeters across. 10 to the minus 26 centimeters, that's small. That's very small, smaller than a single atom. So if our universe started as a subatomic speck, how, how much did it weigh? 10 pounds. and from 10 the, pounds? That's a, that's a very little thing to weigh 10 pounds. Yes, yeah, so it's very dense. Mm. But... On the flip side, even though 10 pounds may seem like a lot for something so small to weigh, and it is, because it means it's very dense, you wouldn't really think intuitively that you could build a whole universe from 10 pounds of stuff. I think you would think <laughs> that to build a whole universe, I'm talking about a universe with stars and galaxies, our universe, hundreds of billions of stars and hundreds of billions of galaxies, you'd think you'd need more than 10 pounds of this stuff. Okay. So if our universe, with all its stars, all its galaxies, sprang from a teeny atomic-sized 10-pound seed, how does a person build a seed like that? It's not easy to do, and people have struggled to figure out ways that might work. One way that might work, says Brian Green, is to start with what's called a mini black hole. Now, we can all imagine uh, the big black holes. Black holes are these gigantic, hugely massive astrophysical objects where if you get too close, you can't escape. You fall down the funnel. But it turns out that black holes can be quite small. They don't have to be big. They don't? No, not at all. It would, says Brian, be entirely possible to take, for example, an ordinary common watermelon and put it inside some incredibly powerful squeezing machine that's not yet been invented that squeezes so fiercely that the watermelon would become denser and denser and so dense that at some point predicted by Einstein, the watermelon would change states and become a mini black hole. That's it. <laughs> now, I know we made the sounds up there, but the, theoretically, this is a real possibility? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You give me any object, and if I squeeze it sufficiently small, then according to the classical laws of general relativity, if you make it small enough, it will be a tiny. So how does a tiny black hole expand? It then explodes, <laughs> roughly speaking. <laughs> <laughs> Now, this is the universe I was waiting for. So, so, so how do you do this? Obviously, you've inserted something or you've changed something to alter the physics of the little black hole, right? Yeah, exactly. And that physics has to do with a strange feature of gravity that none of us have ever experienced, but the math shows us is true and observations of space seem to confirm, and that is that gravity can actually be not only attractive, it can only pull things together, it can also be repulsive. It can push things apart. Push things apart. So, so you put something into the little black hole that made it push outwards because everything on the inside is repulsed? I'm not quite sure what that means, repulsed. It's what you would think. It's that they would have a repulsion. They would, instead of wanting to come together, they would be driven to move apart. And this force exists in nature? The repulsive side, there's actually direct observational support for it. So it is bigger. So this force, what it does is it creates space. So much space that it can turn a little black hole into a universe. Because the repulsive side of gravity is so powerful that it actually injects energy from gravity itself into the expanding space. 
So from that point of view, all you need is the seed, and then gravity takes over and does the rest of the work. And right now there are scientists at Ben-Gurion University in Israel, Yamagata University in Japan, Stanford University in California, who are trying to manufacture first a seed, a mini black hole, and into that seed one day they hope to place a trigger to release this repulsive force and so create, unbelievable as it may seem, the first man-made universe. If you can build this little seed, this little nugget, in just the right way, it will, on its own, start to expand, grow faster and faster and faster, beginning tiny and sprouting into a gigantic universe.